And off we go from Denver. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. So here are the Bears now for their opening drive. And they will be led out by a guy certainly still trying to prove himself here in the league, the young rookie quarterback. His ability to adjust on the fly is almost unmatched in the game right now because it leads to a couple of snaps per game where you just sit back and ask yourself, how did he pull that off? Opponents can practice and prepare each and every week all they want, but this guy, he is hard to corral. And he's taken down but able to slip across the 35. Give them 15 yards to start their first drive of the game. Anytime a team goes on the road, there's always that little bit of fear that maybe they could be affected by the hometown crowd. But this is where game planning really came into play. They talked about it all week. Go in there, establish yourselves. Well, that run right there, that slows down the crowd and gives them a lot of confidence. And he puts his head down and gets up to the 42 for a gain of about six. Consecutive positive runs for him on the last two snaps. He certainly appears to be trying to put the offense on his back and just move them down the field when his number is called. The way he's running it, I keep going back to him. From the 42-yard line, here's the second down and four. Once again, it's Swift. And tackled down after a gain of three. Leaves him with one yard to go on third down. And that's some good tackling there to keep him short of that yellow line. Yeah, defensively, all I'm thinking is that on that play, get me to third down. Get me into a position where I can make one more play and get my defense off the field. On third down, here comes Swift. And Swift is not going to get there as they stop him short of the yellow line. No gain there on the play, and that's going to leave him with a fourth down. Yes, it's the first half, but we'll see if that stuff there on third and one comes back to haunt him. I hope you don't mind, but it's not going to stop me from putting a check mark next to this play. Let's look back as this game progresses and see if this is one of the key plays in the game, even though it occurred early. Now on fourth down, on is the punt team sending this one away. 37 yards on the punt with no return. And it'll be first and 10 Broncos from deep in their own territory. So out comes this offense to take over for the first time. And they will be led out by the youngster, the rookie, their QB. For every rookie prospect, there are always nerves involved in this moment. Running your team out to start a game. But there's a reason they brought him in. We're willing to make him their starter today. They believe he can overcome those nerves and lead his team to a victory. We saw him do it at the collegiate level and really make himself into a leader and someone you can envision doing the exact same thing here in the NFL. So eight yards on the completion there, and that'll bring up a second down in just a couple. Treads the tackle. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. 17 yards for the Broncos there as they've got themselves a first down. There was a little space there, yes, but that was a well-executed run by the rookie. It was, and he wasn't one of the higher-rated rookie running backs coming out. He's probably on the next tier. But let me tell you something. If he becomes more consistent and continues to have that drive to be one of the best, we'll see more of that in the future. Here's a throw to his running back. It's complete. And he's out of bounds just before the midfield stripe at the 49. So the completion results there in nine yards. And it'll bring up a second and short. They'll run it for the first time with Williams. And some solid footwork there as he'll take this down to about the 38. That one good for 13 and a Denver first down. The running game fully in sync, 1-11 to 11 on that play. And sometimes it comes from the offensive coordinator, understanding what he thinks the defense is going to do and dialing up the perfect play. Sometimes the quarterback, though, can look at the defense, realize he needs to change it to a run, and that gets it done in a big way as well. And they will only muster a yard here to the 38. 
That felt like a trap because it looked to me like the opposing front was on that play from the get-go. They had everyone crashing the ball carrier before he even made the line, and they hold him to just a yard. 38-yard line, second and nine. They'll stay on the ground with Williams, fighting his way down to about the 35-yard line. Give him three yards, and now they're left needing a conversion here on third and six. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. To throw on third down, Nix. That is caught. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Bears' 17-yard line. 18 big yards on that one and a Denver first. Well, this is what you want to see from your rookie quarterback on an opening drive, Charles. He looks cool. He looks calm. He looks collected and marching them down the field. And, Brandon, I just think the game continues to change and evolve because we're calling these guys rookies. But, you know, they've thrown the football so much at a younger level now Way more so than what we saw when guys came into the league when you and I came through. And also just the way in particular to him, Charles, how he handles himself in meetings. Just so professional, mature. Looks like he's been in the league five years. Yeah, he cares about the game. He cares about his performance, and it's showing. Second and nine. Operating from the gun, Nix. That is caught inside the five. And the Broncos are going to have a first and goal coming up as the tackle made at the three-yard line. Well, no question, this is exactly how they wanted to start this football game. And nice pass there. Now they're set up beautifully, Charles, to finish this off with a touchdown. Yeah, but they've still got to finish it off, partner. And that means they've got to execute at this stage of the field. So we've seen many teams march it right to the goal line and not cash in. They've got something dialed up here that puts it in the end zone. They'll say no gain on the play, and it'll be second and goal. Off play action, Knicks. Toward the pylon, but it's incomplete. Boy, that was lockdown coverage there. He's scanning for someone to come open. But that was great work to blanket everyone. And in the end, he's just got to throw it away. Big play coming here. It's third and goal. Looking to throw. Knicks. Touchdown, Broncos. From four yards out. And the Broncos put the Knights' first points on the board as they take the early lead. An ideal start for them, really. You force the punt, and then you go down and score. And you've got to see a fist pump on the sideline from the head coach, don't you? Because he's turned into his bench, and he's telling his team, this is how we prepare. Force the punt, go downfield and score. I told you guys, it's just like a boxer in the gym preparing for the fight. Now we get to turn it all loose. Lutz with the extra point, and it's now a 7-0 game. That one in the books as a 12-play drive, and it culminates in a touchdown by the Broncos. After the touchdown, Lutz to kick it off. Now Jones. And he won't get this to the 20-yard line as he's down at the 19. Chicago works their way back onto the field here for their second drive of the game. Defense got the better of them last series, forcing a punt. See if they make a few changes in the game plan here and try to get points out of this drive. First and 10.
Here's Williams on first and 10. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. Heck of a start, a 30-yard pickup on their first play from scrimmage. Well, as my dad would say sometimes, I'm just scratching my head here trying to figure out what was going on there defensively. How did you lose him in the middle of the field? If you're going to lose a receiver, make sure it's someone on the short side of things, not deep downfield, that can hurt your defense. Williams now on first down. There's a short throw. It's caught by Komet. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch. And that'll bring up second down. That's certainly one way to beat the blitz. Get out of your hands quickly and get it to the big fella. Very effective. Saw the pressure, got rid of it, and the completion ensued. From the 46, here's second down and five. Off the bootleg, Williams. And he's got the hook up to Moore. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. His first catch of the game, good for 11 and a first down. But one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. Over the middle, and that's caught by Komet. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop him. A good pick up there, a 22. And this has been a nice answer to the touchdown drive against them a few minutes ago because they've come out and reestablished the tempo. A nice throw there, and they're putting together a very strong drive as a response. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. Again, he'll drop to throw. This will be caught just inside the 10. So five yards here, five on the play, and it's second down. He decided to run a hitch route. It really helps to have a guy who can turn it loose. And boy, he rifled one in there on that one. Not much run after catch, but it worked really well. From the nine, second and five. Back to throw again. Toward the pylon, caught. Touchdown, Bears. DeAndre Swift, a nine-yard touchdown grab. And the Bears are an extra point away from evening this one up. Well, we know he has decent hands out of the backfield. That's the first time, Charles, they've targeted him in the passing game, and it pays dividends. And I love the design, too, because they kept him in the backfield, made the defense think run first before they swung him out of there. And you're right, with his hands, they might want to throw it to him just a little bit more. Cairo Santos on to try the extra point. It's up and good. So these teams match touchdowns here in the first quarter, and we're tied 7-7. So all even at seven now as they kick it away. Oh, a good looking return set up here. And he nearly broke that for more, but as it is, still a good return. They'll start the drive right around the 37. So now the second drive offensively coming up for the Denver Broncos. The last time out, they had to march almost the full length of the field for their touchdown. So here, much easier, Charles, with this better starting field position. I love your sarcasm, but I love even more your observation because, look, what they did last time out, now with a shorter field, they should have a lot of confidence that they're going to put more points up on the board. They start the drive on the ground. It's Williams. And this winds up a gain of four to the 41. Well, the end of all that hitting and hollering, it was a four-yard run, so the offense is going to go back to huddle and feel pretty good about themselves. Defensively, you have to feel okay because you didn't let it turn into a bigger run, but the goal, shut it down for two yards or less. That's when you start to feel good about yourselves. To throw on second down, Knicks. 
A short one to the tight end, Troutman. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. That's a staple of this offense. Drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. A yard all they need, but it's third down. They try the left side here with Williams. And he's got a first down as he's up to the 48. Third and one, partner. No need to be fancy there. Just use some force and move forward and pick up the first down. Throwing on first down. Nix. Over the middle complete. It's Franklin. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. A Bronco first down there, 12 yards on the play. Well, they obviously red man covers their partner, and he got downfield, broke down the defender, made him what think. What do you mean by that? Bro yeah, he made him think he was going to run a different route. Probably thought he was going to take it upfield. Then he curls back inside for the completion. These two teams all tied after one. Second quarter about to begin from Denver. It's the Broncos in possession of the football as they've got it with a first and 10. Now a give up the middle to Williams. Down the sideline he goes. And all the way home for a Broncos score. 39 yards for Javante Williams. And the Broncos have taken the lead. A pretty well-executed run. They were telling us yesterday, Charles, they were hoping to get everybody in sync, the line, the backs, and everybody looked in sync on that play. They were in sync, and the field tilted. And that's where we get the term running downhill because when you've got that kind of momentum and everyone's doing it properly as you just described, it does feel like they are coming from downhill to you as a defender, and that is really hard to stop. Lutz good on the extra point, and that makes the score 14-7. to To the touchdown, Lutz to kick it off. Jones now on the return. And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. Their quarterback leading this offense back out. He had the short touchdown pass on their previous drive, and they'll begin again here on first and 10. the ground it's swift to start the drive he'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run and it's second and four if you're in the offensive huddle you're smiling after that play because you've certainly got them guessing now second and short could they just hand it off for another big gain or do they take advantage of this spot to take a big shot downfield second down and four operating from the gun Williams and there's a short throw. It's caught by Komet. So that'll be no better than an incompletion. And it's third and four now. Well, the stats that matter on this play don't help a team very much, unless, of course, you're playing defense. If you're getting points per reception, you got a reception, but yeah. no yardage. Great job by the defense, though. They, they read through that one. They read through it, gave up no yardage, and people got credit for tackles. Pretty good deal. Now Williams from the gun on third down. He's got the connection to Moore. Still on his feet. Touchdown! D.J. Moore, 77 yards. And the Bears are an extra point away now from tying this ball game. So on third and medium, they dial up the pass, and it works to hit the end zone. And it's really not a surprise to me. That's a throwing down in the NFL because of how tough it is to run the football. But what offenses like to do is still show run formations to make them respect it 
and throw out of those. In this case, they took a nice shot at the end zone and made it pay off. Santos with the extra point, and we are tied at 14. So they only needed three plays on that drive. And it concludes with a touchdown reception by D.J. Moore. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. Taking it about the one. And his guys will get the football right at the 20-yard line. And Denver getting set to take the field. And right now, we've got a little bit of an offensive masterpiece going on. Both sides moving the football, scoring points. It's almost like somebody put the defense on rookie mode in this one. I mean, we haven't even left the first half, Charles, and we're certainly on pace for a shootout. An excellent start for both offenses. The fans have to be enjoying this to seeing all these points go up on the board. As a former defender, you know I'm not enjoying this at all, but right now, both these teams just trading haymakers. Let's see if anyone slips up first. Can anyone counter with a nice little jab and get things going in their direction? And he stopped right at the 25 after a gain of five. Oh, that was a thing of beauty right there. Look at how quick those blockers fired off the line once the ball was snapped. That was an O-line on a mission, all in sync, and the defense is lucky that play only picked up five yards. Off the play fake. Nix. Throw to the right, caught by Dulcich. So he stopped for no gain, and it brings up third and five now. And that's when it's fun to play defense, when you're able to diagnose a play right from the beginning, get all your guys to the football and spill the play. That's when you have a lot of fun playing on that side of the ball. The Broncos on third down, a perfect three for three as they look to keep that streak going. This will be third and five. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Finally, this defense makes a stand. They'd given up touchdowns on their first two drives, but here they said, we've got to put a stop to that. Good coverage there to force a punting situation and a fourth down. On fourth down, it's Riley Dixon on now to kick it away for Denver. DeAndre Carter back deep. They'll look to set up his blockers. It'll be a 39-yard punt, four on the return, and they will take over first and 10. And now the Bears coming out as they get ready. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember, the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out. Looking to repeat that in Charles's defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. Williams throw complete there to Moore. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. That play going for 16 yards to start the drive, first down. So in the second quarter, he's already up over 100 yards receiving now. And isn't 100 the magic number for a really good game for a receiver? So he's got a chance to really shatter that and have a profound effect on this game. They will run straight ahead with Swift. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. Good yardage there on first down. Exactly what you want. Get yourself set up to keep making first downs. Keep the clock running. And if they're smart, you're starting to milk the clock. No hurry before you run your second down play. From the 38 now, here's second and a yard. And we've got movement. I think this is against the Bears here. Let's find out. Now the offense knew it. They were already starting to walk back as that one is accepted. A bad false start penalty there. Now second and six. Back to throw. 
Williams. And there's a short throw. It's caught by Komet. And this is going to be another first down as they'll make the tackle at the Broncos 30. They give him 14 yards that time and a fresh set of downs. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. Now a play fake here on first down. Rush coming, and he's taken down. They overload him that time on a safety blitz, and he winds up being dropped for a loss of seven. Well, that's what they have to do more of defensively, not just getting sacks. We have to keep getting in his face, not let him get his feet set and deliver. He's been carving them up previously. Yeah, already has a couple of touchdown passes. About time they put a few grass stains on that jersey. Williams looking to throw on second down. That's complete right side to commit. It'll be a pickup of 15 as that'll lead to third down. That's a good bounce back play right there after taking a sack on first down. Didn't quite get it to the marker, but now they're in a much better spot for a third and short yardage call. If you're the offensive coordinator, you like looking at that section a heck of a lot better than trying to figure out third and long. Here's Williams on third and two. It'll be a gain of six that time as it moves the chains as well. And that one was a lot of fun right there because that was the game within the game. Third and short, blitz was on. What's the key for the quarterback? Get out of your hands in a hurry. And that was a quick little completion. Got the job done for a first down. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. Back to the running game with Swift. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Two yards the loss, second and 12. That was well played there defensively. Two tight ends in the formation, which essentially gave them seven blockers up front. Hard to imagine with all that size and beef that they could let a tackler through, but that's exactly what happened. A loss resulted. Right back to Swift again on second down. And this one also slow and developing as he's maybe getting back here to the line of scrimmage, but not much more than that. Absolutely love the effort there. The ability to flow from his inside spot and stop that one at the line of scrimmage. Nice linebacker play. Ninth play of the drive coming up, and certainly not an easy one on third and long. Looking to throw. Williams able to find the open man. That's complete. Touchdown, Bears. D.J. Moore with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Bears have broken the tie. And remember, partner, that's a rookie quarterback back there. Apparently, he's getting the hang of this NFL thing pretty quickly. Had three touchdown passes. You're right. He looks comfortable. What are they doing? Anything in particular? Well, they keep talking about making sure they're giving him plays that fit his talents and also maybe shrinking the playbook a little bit. They did tell us that. Bottom line, he's really good. Santos able to tack on the extra point, and the lead is now After the touchdown, here Santos to kick this one away. This taken in right around the goal line. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. Now the Broncos offense, they get set to head back onto the field. They'll look for a drive to tie this up, down 21-14 as they have it first and 10. Throwing to start the drive. Nix looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Sutton. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. Right 
Here's a second and three now from the 33. And they'll run on the inside handoff. Seven yards there and a first down. And that's a nice pickup of a first down on that second down run. And at that yardage gained, they can run that plan any down. They stay on the ground this time. It's Williams. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. That was a good run, probably right on the edge of breaking into something really big. So the defensive guys right now are talking about, okay, what can we do to slow him down before he truly gets started? Ball right on the 50-yard line. Here's second down at a yard. Now a toss left side. It's Williams. And he'll get it into enemy territory just across midfield at the 49. Able to get the one yard he needed, but nothing more. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember the last drive, they went three and out. On first down, they'll go to the ground attack. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Well done to sniff that out defensively. He had it diagnosed pretty quickly. I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Read his keys, made the play, and he couldn't even get going moving the football. From the gun, he'll hand this off. And he stopped immediately there. Officially no gain on the play, and they're left with a third and eight. On that play, it was the defensive front that won the battle. They outleveraged the offensive line, got into the backfield, and held them to no gain. The offense on third down tonight, they've been good. Three for four thus far. This is third and eight. And movement by one of the Broncos up front, and in comes the flag. Quinn Miners, third round pick in 2021, called for the penalty. So the false start certainly doesn't help matters as they'll try again now, third and long. Back to throw, Nix, and this is gonna be incomplete. Ah, oh, that's well done defensively. They get the pressure they needed on third down. All the receivers are locked up tight and they force that quarterback to just throw it away. Fourth down, so on is the punter, Riley Dixon. And this will pin him back deep. That's going to kick out of bounds right at about the seven-yard line. There's D.J. Moore as he and the rest of the offense head back out there. Previous series, definitely a focal point. Three catches, the touchdown grab. As a DB, your former DB, is there a number of catches on a drive you're like, oh, he got the best of us? I'm not sure there's a number, but there's a great feel. And what he did on the last drive, yeah. <laughs> Especially with a touchdown. Yes. You're never way, happy. You're exactly right. The way he capped it off. So you feel that at the sideline, and now you're looking at your buddies and saying, okay, what are we going to do to take things away from him? Because I'm not sure the other guys can make those sort of players. So let's make sure that we don't let him get going again. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. A reminder coming up here at halftime. We'll ship you off to Orlando. Jonathan Coachman will have first-half highlights and analysis from a back-and-forth first half that we've seen. Throws left side, complete to Keenan Allen. And he's taken down, but not before he gets this across the 25-yard line. It's a gain of 13 for number 13, and it gives him a first down. Looking to throw, Williams finding more on the out route for the completion. Short completion, just four yards, and it'll be second down. They like going to him in the slot, he catches another one. I think this comes under the heading of, until they stop him, why not go back to him? He has something going really well, great working relationship with the guy throwing the ball, and they keep making the connection. They'll look to throw again. 
And this is going to be caught, but they'll say out of bounds. So it's incomplete. That is the first time that they've targeted him that he has not come down with a catch. He's caught everything that's been thrown his way. A dominant pass receiver that can break. And I believe they buzzed down. They're going to take another look at this play with all reviews coming from the replay official here in the final two minutes of the half. Did he keep those feet in bounds? That's the question they've got to decide. And I, I got to say, watching it in real time, it was awfully close. Yeah, it certainly looked like a heck of a catch because he didn't appear to bobble it, which could complicate things. But even with the benefit of replay, that's pretty tight. Well, here's the call. They tried to throw on second down, unsuccessful. Now it's third and one. Back to throw. Williams. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. They give him five yards there, and it's enough for the first. That's a big conversion there on third down because they did not want to give the ball up here late in the half. They'd love to take the clock all the way down and score. This will definitely help the cause. Williams now throwing on first down. And an incomplete pass. That'll stop the clock here with just under a minute to play in half number one. Nice progress down the field was halted by that incompletion. They could try for some safe yards here to get things moving again or keep throwing it and pushing it downfield to try and pick up bigger yardage. He'll try again with the arm here on second down. And that's out to the flat for Swift. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. Five yards, now it's third and five. It's funny, throughout the time that we've been together when we talk with running backs about the ability to catch the ball, their eyes light up when they talk about open field and having one-on-one -on -one matchups, don't they? Yeah, they do. And that's the reason why, what we just saw, shedding those tackles, and that's what they're used to doing. It is, and it starts at the beginning of the play, one-on-one -on -one matchup of someone trying to cover them, but they also like those one-on-ones downfield. After the catch, when they're running with the ball, they think they're going to win those, too. So first and 10 now from the 30. Looking to throw. Williams. They'll try and set up the screen to Swift. And he'll be out of bounds as he gets this down about the 21 or 22. And good yardage there on first down because sometimes all you need to do on the screen is get one key block. That might set your man free. And that was pretty good pursuit to the football defensively. Or it could have gone for more. Second and one now from the 21. Back to throw. Williams to the right side, and he's got more complete. Now the Bears going to use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 34 seconds to go before halftime. Third down and one. Now they'll throw here out of the gun. Throwing quickly there, but it's incomplete. So two third down conversions on this drive, but not able to get a third, and now they deal with fourth down. You've always been very good about checking my math. Am I correct? That's the first time that it's been incomplete when they've thrown it to him? Yes, he had caught every other ball coming his way. So they feel like they've got something really good going there, and they're going to continue to go there until the defense makes an adjustment and takes it away. Well, they finally made an adjustment there. We'll see if they can build on that stop. And he is going to have the Bears first down as he'll wind up getting close to 10 yards there. They only needed one on fourth and one. Not only is the slant route really difficult to cover, it's a real staple play for an offense on a fourth down because it's a quick hitting play. Get the ball in the hands of the quarterback right to the receiver. And the receiver has to be ready because that thing's coming on a rope. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. Looking to throw. 
Williams. And he wisely will throw that one away. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. So with four seconds to go in the half, here's the field goal unit onto the field. From the right hash here, should be an easy one. Santos' kick is up and through, and the lead works its way up to 10, 24-14. So no problems at all on that one. And, and you know there's virtually no win. This is a kicker's dream here tonight. It absolutely is, isn't it? So to me, with no wind, it should be a passer's dream as well, yeah. right? But in this case, the defense held out. They had to force the field goal. So still time for the kickoff here. One second to go in the half as this one is away. So we reach halftime here in a 10-point game. As we send you on out to our studios in Orlando, here's Jonathan Coachman at REA Sports Halftime Report. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. Back to you guys in a bit. But first, we welcome everyone to our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. It'll be the Broncos getting the football first in this second half as they trail, and we are back underway. This fielded right at the goal line. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. Here comes the Broncos offensive unit here as he'll have it first to begin this third quarter. By no means certainly are they out of this contest. Two-score game start of the third quarter, but you feel like if they don't get points and then they give up points, then it can become a slippery slope. This feels like an important possession. Yeah, and that slope becomes even more slick if you come away empty-handed on this drive because then you give them a chance to extend their lead. You need some kind of points here, even if it's just a field goal. It's what I call one of those calming drives, try and slow things down a little bit. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Uh, with a rookie quarterback out there, you definitely got to find out how he handles adversity because this one so far hasn't gone according to plan. He's got to fight through it and show him what he's made of. Now a second and 10. Now a 10th carry. Here's Williams. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. 91 yards rushing for him now on what was his 10th carry of the ball game. Well, we've seen him break off a big run already in this game, and for a second, that one looked like it might be another. Yeah, I think that any defense would say, look, we can't let him get to the second level because sometimes he'll break off the big run on his own, but oftentimes you get additional blocking at the second level, which gets you deeper into the secondary. They try and run on first down, but to no avail. Tackled for a two-yard loss in the backfield. But these guys are going to chop into that deficit. They're going to have to do a much better job in the run game. Caught behind the line of scrimmage. No yardage will be found. Now they contend with a second and 12 after the loss. Hands it off out of the gun. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. 
third down, now even tougher. Third and 13 after that loss of a yard. Sometimes you just sit back and marvel at what he can do defensively. Speed, strength, quickness, he's the whole package. And that package just wrapped up the runner for a loss. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Reynolds with a catch out on the right side. And they're going to mark him down short, maybe by about a yard, if that. They do get 12, but they'll be marked short. And that leads to a fourth down. There's another example what defensive coaches constantly preach, not allowing any run after the catch. They gave up a few more yards than they wanted to, but they were able to get him down quickly and force a fourth down. And he couldn't get it to check up. That kicks all the way into the end zone for a touchback. So here are the Bears now as they get set for their first possession of the second half. We have not seen much on offense here from either side these last few drives. We've hit a wall, so to speak. And have hit it hard, haven't we? Because the defenses right now, they seem to be a step ahead, don't they? Beating them to the point of attack, beating them to the punch. These offensive guys, they're tinkering like crazy. What's it going to take to get back on track? Yeah, both sides searching for adjustments. Williams throw there complete to Allen. And he's going to be brought down right there after the catch at the 34. First down yardage on the first play of the drive. Give him 14. And now we get into the psychology of the whole thing because a lot of teams with a two-score lead in the third quarter, they almost become defensive with their offense, just playing not to lose. I think with this team, you got to figure at this point, this is a great spot for them to go into attack mode, really try and put the hammer down and finish this one off. Swift going to try up the middle. And this defense able to plug him up there as he'll get a yard to the 35. Oh, there's plenty of traffic waiting for him up the middle. But give him credit, he tried barreling through anyway. They're fortunate to get a yard out of that one. They work now on second and nine. They'll stay on the ground with Swift. And he'll get about two there to the 36. He's definitely tough to get down. We just saw it right there. But how about what we did see? Pursuit, wrap up, and then the big finish with the tackle. So seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. Now Williams to throw on third down. He's got his target. That's complete. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. That third down conversion, good for 23. And with that last play, he's now up over that 300-yard mark. And in today's NFL, it almost feels routine. And I hate that when you talk about a 300-yard passing game. To me, 300 yards still signifies excellence, and he's achieved that in this performance. Show a first and 10 now in Denver territory at the 41. Back to throw. Williams caught by Allen. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. It's a gain of nine. Brings up second and a yard at the 32-yard line. From the 32-yard line now, here's second down and one. Gets it into the hands of Allen on the jet sweep. Oh, and this one it may need to go back to the drawing board. He's going to be swallowed up right away. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Well, we've seen running backs in today's NFL get involved in the passing game. Maybe it's about time more receivers like that get involved in the running game. And that is something we are seeing more and more in this league. No question about it. That wasn't the biggest of gains, but it was enough to get them a first down. And it continues to test the defense. They have to think on every play about who might end up with the ball. That puts him in excellent position, first and goal after a gain of 19. For a tight end, he's got good straight line speed. And on that route, he's often the guy that gets overlooked. Nice job there finding him in stride for really good yardage. Looking to throw, Williams. And that is caught. Touchdown, Bears. Keenan Allen 
from four yards out. And his guys now an extra point away from taking a three-score lead. Well, to put it mildly, he's been able to dice up this secondary all game long, and this time that was a missile that he threw into the end zone and adding another touchdown to his ledger. And I think we see these youngsters develop a lot quicker than we ever have because when they get started in this game, they're not just throwing passes around. They're reading coverages early. So now they're like seasoned pros earlier in their career. How about this one here? If they win this ball game, a game ball definitely coming from his head coach. Now, after the touchdown, here Santos to kick this one away. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. And coming out now, the Broncos. I kind of feel like they've reached a do-or-die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start right here, right now. Yeah, now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation, but they also understand they've got to move the ball and move it fast. In addition, they need to save as much time so they can get two more possessions. On first down, Knicks. Throw left side complete to Troutman. And they work this well upfield across the 45. A really nice gain of 25 yards. Well, we talk all the time about playing situational football right now. I think the scoreboard is dictating what they need to do. Where they are in this game, they've got to push the ball downfield, take their shots, try and get big chunks of yardage in a short amount of time. That was a nice play there. A big hitter to start the drive has him up near midfield here for first and 10. Up the middle, it's Williams. And they nearly sprung him that time as he takes this all the way down to the 37. 16 more on that one and another first down. He's done his part sailing past the century mark on the ground with rushing yardage, but his team, a different story. Yeah, they're down big in this ball game, so sometimes you wonder to yourself, how much of that is him with a great performance? And how much of that is the defense just loosening up because they have a big lead? And he's brought down at the 34. Call it a gain of four. I feel like I could see what he was thinking on that carry. He wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. Line of scrimmage, the 24. This is second and six. Now a handoff. Here's Williams. And he'll be brought down at the 27-yard line. 111 yards rushing for him now as he's carried it 13 times. Yeah, once more, a strong running. Excellent blocking at the point of attack. They've got a nice little drive brewing right here. In motion left goes Sutton. And they'll fake the jet sweep and instead of give up the middle to Williams. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. And now you have to wonder, partner, at what point in time do they forget the running game? It's been a struggle so far in this one. I would think they'd have to start throwing it a little bit more. Slot man moves right. And they're going to give it to him on the jet sweep. And yeah, that is well read there defensively. He was looking to use his speed to get the edge, but they said no way. Third and 15 coming up after that loss of two. That's the danger, Charles, of running plays like this for your wide receiver. They can hit big or they can be duds. Yeah, you're exactly right about that because if they're forced to try and go around defenders behind the line of scrimmage, sometimes you can give yardage in order to gain it. But in this case, they gave yardage and didn't get it back. And this is incomplete. Oh, that looked like a sure six points, but he could not get that to stick. And that is a golden opportunity wasted there. 
And this is a situation where as a head coach, you're just saying, what else could go wrong? Let's get it all out of our system, please. This has been a sloppy game throughout. The execution has been lacking. A lot of mistakes, both mental and physical. And here's a big play that goes by the wayside. So the response to that touchdown on the other side to begin the third quarter. Look, just three points, but still a response nonetheless. You're exactly right about that because I think you needed to answer back with something, even though it's not six. Just enough to send the message that says, hey, we're not going away. Following the made field goal, Lutz to kick it away. No run back here for Jones, a touchback. Here comes a field general leading his offense back out there for the next possession. He has been on his A game. We're in the third quarter. He's already in search of touchdown pass number five. He's played so well that it's hard for me to take my eyes off of him even when he's not on the field. I keep finding my eyes finding him on the bench in between series, wondering what he's going to do next. This has been a blast to watch him play the position. Yeah, he's been spectacular with those four touchdown passes. They'll start on the ground with Swift. And he'll work this forward for about three at second down. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. Here's second and seven now from the 28. Once again, it's Swift. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. A gain there of 12 yards and a first down for the Bears. Although his reputation as a speedy runner precedes him, it's always fun to watch him work. It is eye-opening, isn't it? Because when you see him get the ball and just go, in addition to that speed, it helps out his blockers. They don't have to hold blocks for long because he's just going to speed right past them. Williams throw here into the hands of Moore. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. That's a 12-yard gain now on back-to-back -back plays. This offensive game plan has just been sensational. I mean, when you think about all the different ways they've gotten their receivers open so far, it's really been impressive. Scheme, design, execution. Williams on first and 10. A little short pass. This is Everett. Not a big window to throw. Coverage wasn't too bad there. Yeah, they had him under wraps pretty well, but somehow able to muscle his way open and catch the ball. Here now, second and four. Back to throw. Williams. That pass complete to Moore. And this is going to be another first down as they'll make the tackle at the Broncos' 32-yard line. Give them 10 yards there as this offense is on a roll. This drive continues to plunge forward. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Looking to throw. Williams. He's got Allen. And he'll be brought down on what's going to turn out to be the final play of this third quarter. Three quarters in the books. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Welcome back now to Denver. It's Bears football here. They also have the lead as well as we begin quarter number four. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. And he'll go right back to Allen. That's complete. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. That will go as a pickup of seven on the seventh play of the drive. This drive's taken more than three minutes off the clock already as they come up on second down. Now a give right side swift. And here he'll get it down to the seven. 
four yards on the play. That's going to lead to first and goal. As I take a look at the clock, I realize that this drive is eating up a good portion of the fourth quarter already. Got to tell you, partner, when you're trying to salt away a game, this is exactly what it's supposed to look like. A good chance now to put this game on ice. This is first and goal. Here's Williams. From the gun, he'll throw. That's complete to Swift out of the backfield. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. Only a yard in the completion. It's second and goal. Well, offensively, that's the mismatch that you want. You want to force a linebacker to try and cover your back out of the backfield, out in some open space. But linebackers nowadays, they run like backs, and they take a lot of pride in covering. What a nice play he made there in the open field. Oh, there's that man again. It's complete. And he is out of bounds here. The catch good for six yards, but now it's third and goal. Ready, break. Swift. He's not going to get there. That won't even be close. It was blown up in the backfield. That'll back him up two yards and also bring up fourth. This has not been a fun game for this defense. They've definitely had their share of struggles, but they needed to make a play right there, and they finally get it done on third and goal. And no hesitation about this decision here. Confidently, they're going to go for this. Fourth and goal from the three. They'll try it now with Swift, and he's not going to get in. They stop him at the one. They stop him on fourth and goal at the three, and the Bronco defense comes up big. And I am not sure, partner, there what the mindset was to go for it. I don't know. And some teams just feel that possession is the key to everything. They just want to have the football in their hands. No matter how it goes to the other team, they just don't trust doing that. So they say, let's uh, go for it and try and finish it ourselves. On first and ten, Knicks. Today's NFL, these big guys are featured receivers. They move them all over the place to try and find good matchups, and they had one. They were just unable to complete the pass. Here's second and ten. They'll hand it off now, Williams. And he'll get this only up to about the three-yard line. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. Well, that's a good start to this drive on the defensive side of the ball. 4C in completion on first down. Then you're able to shut down the running play on second. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised now. A little bit of pressure going at the quarterback in the expected passing situation. On third down, Knicks. That is caught. And some space here. And he's going to get this up to the 24-yard line. Great way to convert on third down there. 21 yards the play. Good yardage on the completion there. And when they look at the scoreboard, they do understand a field goal is not going to do them any good. My guess, they're going to press the ball downfield as far as possible, try and throw it into the end zone and get a score because they know they've got to get that done and get the ball back as quickly as possible. They go play action here on first down. That's into the hands of Reynolds. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Another good gain. That's now 35 yards combined on those last two plays. Fourth quarter, every drive so critical. And you figure, may only get one more shot after this. So a touchdown's imperative on this drive. It is, but you also have to think to yourself in play calling, don't hold anything back. Don't save it for the second touchdown. You got the first one for the second one to even matter. They will get four yards here on the first down run, and that'll make it second and six. And that was a quality play to start a new set of downs. That was simply an offensive line winning the battle up front and winning in a big way and giving their guy in the backfield a nice lane to hit. Second down at six now from the 42. Back to throw. Knicks. 
Looking for his running back, and he's got him. And he'll get it into enemy territory just across midfield at the 49. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. One well, of my old teammates called me the other day when he was watching the game. He's like, man, trying to watch an NFL game and trying to account for their passing game? That's difficult. And just when you think you get everything covered, here comes a back out of the backfield. And in this case, he picks up a first down. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Well, they've been back on their heels a little bit here on this drive, but a chance to exhale just a little bit there with incompletion on first down. Now they have to gear up, try and get two more stops, and escape this drive. Second and 10. Off play action. Nix. He finds his man complete. It's Franklin. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Bears 33. It'll be a gain of 16 for number 16. But he's turning in a nice performance. Remember, he had the touchdown earlier, and this time he's able to beat double coverage to grab it. I think that if he weren't worried about a taunting penalty, he'd run by the opposing team's bench and say, guys, two's not going to be enough. You better get some more guys trying to cover me. He knows how to get open downfield. The busy night continues for Williams. And an excellent job of finding the opening as he's got this now all the way down to the 22. 125 yards on the ground for him now as he has gotten better, really, as the night's gone on. Well, definitely see some open running lanes, and he's taking advantage of it right now, but that shouldn't be a surprise. Defense has the lead. They're playing for the pass first. Throwing on first down. Knicks. Offense was moving it a little bit, had them back on their heels, but they earn a brief pause by forcing the incompletion. That gives them a quick chance to regroup and try and mount a stand before they're backed up even further. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. Operating from the gun, Nix. And he's got his man in stride, complete. Touchdown, Broncos. A 22-yard touchdown grab. And the Broncos drive the entire length of the field, 99 yards for the score. Well, time to let those folks know who are tuning in looking for the late local news. And we may be a moment because we've got a game again. And partner, except for those on the West Coast where it'll be seen in its regular time, right? That's the way it works, doesn't it? But how about that? Big time drive right there. If they're going to have any chance, they needed a touchdown there. And they went right down the field and worked their way into the end zone. Lutz with the extra point. And now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter. After the touchdown, Lutz to kick it off. Valus Jones now from his end zone. And he returns this to the 22. The Chicago offense set to get started. Their lead back down to one score after the touchdown a moment ago. First down's a must on this drive as they start out here first and 10. Swift to start the drive. And he'll be brought down here at the 28. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. Good gain there on first down. It keeps him in a running situation, probably. They did everything right on that play, didn't they? They got the leverage up front. Good blocking. Nice hole for him. Ends up picking up nice yardage. Stays in bounds to keep the clock rolling. They are in charge of this scenario right now. They want to stay that way. Not in any rush offensively. And this will be a Bears first down as the tackle made here at the 36. Well, it is our business to analyze what we saw out there. And on that play, I saw a defense staying in base, not taking a chance, not blitzing in a situation where they absolutely need the football back. That's either a case of overthinking it 
are not thinking it through. If you do blitz, do you have to be careful about where you're coming from, or are you just coming from all angles? You have to be careful about where you're coming from, obviously, but at this stage... And that's caught inside the 30. Touchdown, Chicago! DJ Moore, 64 yards. And the Bears use the big play to extend their fourth quarter lead. They have to love seeing that from their young quarterback here in the fourth quarter, able to further that lead with a touchdown pass. He didn't go turtle, did he? And you know what I mean by that. I had an old coach used to say all the time, hey, when we have a lead late, don't just tuck in and try and ride it out. Go out and play and extend the lead. And that's what he did. Santos with the extra point and the lead now up to 14. The drive there only spanning three plays. And it concludes with a touchdown reception by D.J. Moore. After the touchdown, here Santos to kick this one away. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped at the 23-yard line. The offense getting set again. We spotlight Javante Williams, the running back. He's been a good workhorse. I know we use the word workhorse a lot, but he's been a good workhorse for him in this one. No doubt about it, and there's nothing wrong with that. That's what you're looking for if you're a back, because that means everything's coming together for you. The big guys up front have created space. You've run through it. And you've probably gotten some help even from the wide receivers who want to catch passes as opposed to block, but they're helping out too. Yeah, everyone's pitching in. He's had a good game. Well, certainly those are the types of mistakes they're trying to avoid as they attempt to protect this lead late in the game. And let's face it, they're hoping that this one doesn't cost them in a significant way. Yeah, one guy committed a penalty, but now the entire defense has to pay the price and try and rise up and overcome it. So the penalty yards marched off on the face mask. Here's first and ten. Looking to throw. Nix buying time to his left. And he'll protect himself at the end here as he winds up getting pretty decent yardage. Nice work to get seven out of that, and it's second down. You know what I like about that play? He didn't try to do too much on first down. He took what the defense gave him, put together a solid gain to bring up second and manageable. Now they have a couple of plays to pick up just a few yards and a new set of downs. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. Out to the flat, that's complete to his running back. And he'll get it down to the 47 here. Four yards the pick up, first down. Well, they certainly had success throughout this contest, getting him the ball in the passing game, and there he picks up another first down. Whatever they saw going into this one, they've been able to capitalize on it, and no adjustment has been made to take it away. On first down, Nix. Now throw out wide, going to be incomplete. Well, that's a defensive coordinator's got to be happy with that result. They took away all options downfield and forced the incompletion. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Throwing again, Nix. Open man downfield is Reynolds. He's going to go out of bounds, but he takes this one down just shy of the 20. That one good for 26 and a first down. Clock management, definitely critical here if they want to get back in this game. Absolutely agreed. They have to up the tempo in this case, down a couple of scores. Want to make sure they have a chance to win this ball game.
Back to throw again. Now he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Tyreek Stevenson picks it off, and the Bears are going to get the football here at their own 23. That time defensively looked like they showed quite a bit of pressure, but backed off, and it proved fruitful. They get the pick. He went through all of his rules about getting rid of the ball quickly because he read blitz. He saw all those people stacked at the line of scrimmage, and then they fooled him by dropping into coverage. Now he's ready to get rid of the ball fast, but guess what? too many defenders out there exactly as you described an interception They'll try and run down some clock with Johnson. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. Now, they may want to go back to that one. First play of the drive, good for 15 and a first down. You can really tell right now both sides have amped up the aggressiveness. That time, the offense winning the aggression battle. And the defense was obviously aiming for the football, maybe a little bit more so than the runner himself. And that's why he was able to break through and get the gain that he did. They go back to the ground, this time Swift. And some room to maneuver. And they've got it well across midfield, down to the 40 before it's all said and done. It's another first down as they bite off 23 more on that one. Well, we're beyond the tone setting right now. This guy's been to bell cow all day, and he'll continue to rely on him to move the chains, drain the clock, and lead his team. First down, and they go with Swift again. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. This is Swift on the counter. And he's brought down at the 34. Call it a gain of four. And quickly, we're going to get another stop here with 154 left as they call the timeout defensively. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. On third down, here comes Swift. And he is going to have the first down, and that is going to suck the life right out of this crowd. Now the Broncos going to use the second of their timeouts, and they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. They will run straight ahead with Swift. Now the Broncos will use their third and final timeout as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. They'll stay on the ground with Swift. And he'll take this inside the 20 and down to the 18. Two yards on the carry there, and it's going to lead him to third down. I like it. I like the call. Still an opportunity to run the football and chew up a little more time off the clock. They're trying to keep the drive going. This will be play number eight. It's third and two. Back to throw. Williams work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he is going to have the Bears first, and that should be the capper. He's been the go-to guy. They needed a big play there on third down. Went his way. It worked out. Doesn't matter whether they've scouted it or that they think he's going to get the ball. He has a knack for finding his way open and completing the connection. So he'll take a knee here to wrap this one up, but he's going to want to keep that game ball. He was sensational. 
Yeah, it's fun to kneel down in front of your home crowd, but when you go on the road, that band of brothers attitude, right? Just us against the world and get it done. <laughs> How happy are they? I remember a coach at a previous stop telling me, you get a win on the road, doesn't matter the opponent, get out of there like you stole something. And they, <laughs> they did in this one. So this one in the win column for the Chicago Bears. And it's never easy to come into Denver to win. You think all you have to deal with with the altitude, but they got the job done. Well, there's a reason Olympic athletes train nearby. All right, they've got a terrific training center in Colorado Springs. You train at the altitude, the lungs expand, you go down to the regular. Oh my goodness, they can go all day. And in fact, a lot of visiting teams, when you visit Denver, you know it's, you know it's printed in your locker room. Welcome to the Mile High City. The air is rare. They get in your head that way. So that's a wrap for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn. And this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. For more, check us out at easports.com. From Denver, good night, everybody.